So right now, Nick and I are supposed to be doing assignment. We're supposed to be doing a assignment. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, we're, we're supposed to be doing an assignment for um, science, but instead we're um, like watching Ni and Cat videos and watching things that his dog's doing and other assorted fun. And now we've moved on to another productive item. Oh, no shit. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. So the assignment that we're doing is based on gonorrhea. We have to research that and stuff. So there's a there's a page about like statistics and all that stuff. And then there's a pa positive singles dot com, and I'm not sure what that actually means. Shut up. I'm researching. But <laughs> The best place in the world for meeting positive singles. Wow, absolutely fantastic. I, <laughs> I, I, I seriously I bet, I bet don't understand. I, I honestly don't understand what they're trying to convey by positive singles. <laughs> okay, so Nick's laughing. <laughs> and I don't actually know what it is yet, so explain. It's dating for people with STDs. <laughs> 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 oh... Brilliant. You're not allowed to date if you have STDs. <laughs> STD date ideas. <laughs> take take, take me, me out to, to a, a fancy, fancy dinner. dinner. With soft music <laughs> playing. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Wow. <laughs> okay. Salt shakers helping Christians make a difference. <laughs> what does it's that mean? A, it's meant to be about STDs. I understand. Because <laughs> we're sick of researching, um, basically, we decided to order a pizza and it was $23.90, and I've only got $15 worth of notes. So then I'm going to give him all these 20, 20 cent coins. <laughs> Alright, this is another 15. So then it's. Uh, no, I don't want 50. Oh. This is this is an exact change, and he he will definitely appreciate this. <laughs> we put all that money in a plastic bag, so it will be more convenient for him to count. And now, just to add to the genius, we've um, stapled the bag together. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we should have more. Well, yeah, we have more. We have a entire bucket of change. Try your dog some more. <laughs> it's like I'm wired. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's gonna drop it on the floor. Open up your mouth. Such a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> A 
so right now I'm doing schoolwork, um, and I realise that having music in the background actually helps me to think, because, like, if I don't have music on, it would just be like this. But here's what happened when I do have music on. Blank page. So after working for about two hours, this is what I wrote. Okay, so basically I got this shit. Um, if you freeze frame it, if you know anything about maths, just freeze frame it and see what I did wrong, because I really don't have any idea what went wrong, but it just did. Now, so I put an arrow next to my answer and I wrote, I know that's wrong, but I tried. And I feel like that will get enough marks. Because you get, because I'll get half marks for getting one of the answers right, but I'll also get, um, I'll also get full marks for showing my work, so I should, I should be able to pass that. Apart from the fact that it was due four days ago, so that can't be an advantage. Okay, I'm gonna try this out, I'm gonna see how fast I can go on doubles. Just testing this out, nothing real serious, okay. Uh, I started homework at 6 p.m. and it is now 11:23 a.m. and I'm listening to Hall and Oates. So. This stuff is called blue tack. Basically, it just sticks things to other things, you see. Okay, now, there it is up there. And then, you see, I can just stick my wallet to the wall now. I can just stick it. And then my ID is there for everybody to see. But basically, you get the point there. So what happens if I stick my pen in there like this? Well, <laughs> um, this would be the answer to that question. And now, I don't think I can, ten I can continue to write anymore. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, yep, not even clicking it makes any difference whatsoever. Oh, I think I may... This reminds me of mining for things. Yes, it is. Also, 12... 12.56am. Isn't this fantastic? So if you don't know how to end an assignment, basically all you have to say is I know it was under the word limit but it's 2am and I want to go to bed. Couldn't have said it better myself. Mainly because I physically can't because I said it. Okay, well, as you may have guessed from my little speech it is 2am and I'm tired and I'm gonna leave and I'll see you tomorrow.